George is so terrified of loud noises like thunder and fireworks that even just the word sets him off. Fireworks. And he just doesn't like that word at all. He will take himself off. He's probably going up there to tip everything out and hide. Georgie! It's all right, my darling. Come on. Don't be scared. It's all okay. right, Georgie. Don't worry. It's all right, Georgie. And that's by only saying that word. You can imagine when they yeah, are actually... all going off. I love Cocker Spaniels. They're essentially a working breed. They need a lot of exercise and they can be quite sensitive. Dogs, like humans, suffer with anxiety issues, which can cause serious problems, and it sounds like George is one of those dogs. Hello, Hello Victoria. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Come in. Thank you. Tell me about George. George is eight, and we've had him since he was a puppy. He, over the years now, has become more agitated oh, to see. sounds that he doesn't like, things that happen on November the 5th. He has trigger words that really upset him. I can't say that word at the moment. Oh, you can't so, say no. the word no. F-I-R-E-W-O-R-K-S? No. no. Because that would... That sets, that him, sets, off. Yeah. sets him off. Yeah. yeah. What about the F word? Yeah, I mean, if I was to say now, fireworks, he finds it very dis... Oh. George, come on now. He doesn't like that word at no, all. No, he doesn't. No. George. Georgie. <coughs> Georgie. Come on, darling. Come on. Settle down. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. See, so you can't it's say that word. Heartbreaking. It is, because it's very distressing, actually. I mean, that's just the word. I mean, when it actually is happening, it's just he goes to another level. He's mm, inconsolable. Inconsolable, yeah. yeah. OK. He has a phobia of noises where he absolutely panics. One of the ways he does cope is to go and empty cupboards, he tries to escape. That it is his coping mechanism. Mm. He doesn't really have a place where he can go that he can feel safe in. So that's what I'm going to do next. Look! Wow, oh, what that's got brilliant, here? <laughs> isn't it? Oh, his own beds you've put in there. Oh, that's clever. That's he lovely, it. isn't he it, likes George? It in there. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> here really, he comes. he's gone in. Yeah. So, I'm so glad he went in because this is his safe zone for when FWs come. Yeah. When you go, he gets very panicky. Yeah. And one of the ways that manifests itself is he has to do something. Yeah. And what he does is he goes into cupboards mm. takes things out. The reason why he goes into the cupboard but doesn't settle there is because there's no, like, curtain mm. to close and make him feel safe. Yeah. So what I'm hoping is that this will be his place that he can go to when he feels uncomfortable, but is also a place he can go to when you're not here. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.